All right, guys, what's going on in Ireland? Ireland in Belfast, 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 Belfast. I can't, I cannot imitate an, a, a Irish accent. <laughs> I can't. It's such a unique accent, man. That's why it's so sexy when I hear women speak it. It's so sexy, but yet. It's such a, a very elegant way of speaking English other than, you know, how they speak it in England. But it's just so it's such a raw yet elegant accent. You know what I'm saying? I like it. But anyways, um, loving the series right now. Sons of Anarchy episode nine and ten is here today and I am ready to take on the challenge we are here today hopefully you guys have been enjoying since we've been back um you know because if you have been back then you should have been watching this should have been sons should have returned sometime the week you're watching this in <laughs> but in any case um yeah man sons of anarchy there there's some fishiness going on over there in ireland in belfast so <laughs> I think I think I almost got it there, right? I think I almost got it there. I think if I practice long enough, just like how I can imitate, I can imitate um um the UK accent a little bit, like Cockney. I can do it pretty good, not great, but I can do it pretty good because I do have family in England, so I can do a pretty good imitation of it. It's not sometimes it's spot on sometimes it's not <laughs> right but anyways um yeah so i'm really digging the series right now because we only have what five episodes left in the season and it's warming up it's warming up there's still the situation that's going on back home with tara um that i'm really worried about I, hopefully she doesn't abort the kid that's just my hope she it's not like i'm gonna like hate the show because there's abortion in it or anything like that like <laughs> that's not gonna happen <laughs> you know what i'm saying but i will have some stuff to say about it i tell you that much i've i spoke extensively on it how much you know i don't like the idea i am very much so pro-life so it's like um but it is a show you get what i'm saying and i know there's two sides of the story when it comes on to it and i'm always ready to hear what other people have to say about it as i said everybody can do whatever they want to do it's their it's their body men men or women it's your body can do whatever they want to do let's prepare for the consequences because there are huge works risk when it comes to um abortions so it's like it is what it is it's up to you it's your body <laughs> again you know you can't tempers people opinions or what they do with, with whatever the situation is that they are they feel like they can't handle a child i can't tell you you'll be able to <laughs> you know what i'm saying but at the end of the day if that's what you feel like you know what i'm saying like that's what it is that's what it is i i it's not going to change my opinion on the subject um just at the end of the day you do what you gotta do it's for you you know what i mean um so so yeah man they're over there things are riling up it looks i hope oh my god i hope Jax doesn't sleep with his with his with his um sister because that's not gonna be good um that's not gonna be good it might just create more problems than is already there um there's also the situation with the priest you know wanting Jax to take out you know take out this dude and it's just like come on man you know what i mean like there's there's an agenda here that we're that i'm not seeing and i feel like it's going to catch me off guard even though i'm prepared for it it's gonna catch me off guard it just doesn't make sense what he's asking jacks to do it just doesn't make sense you're a man that has the army it's like oh it's gonna look bad for the army but at the same time if you have all these people you could bribe police you could do all this stuff it's not america where yeah i'm not saying you can't bribe police officers in america like, like there's no corrupted cops they are corrupted cops we just don't know who they are you know what i'm saying but you know it, to the level that they can go to with with you know what i'm saying um trying to take out jimmy i think they could take him out without 
an issue without an issue you get what i'm saying without it even blowing back on them in the sense of oh if they find out we're killing our leaders whatever whatever i feel like they could take them out without that happening if they really wanted him dead you know what i'm saying i think they're setting up jacks for failure of some sort but it is what it is we're gonna jump into this and i will see you guys for the review All right, so that was episodes 9 and 10, Sons of Anarchy season 3. My god, man, what a emotional roller coaster this show is, man. You know what I'm saying? And I said it's it, it's um the writing in the show is very good. It just gets me up out of my seat because you know, a lot of conclusions happen in these two episodes, you know what I'm saying? O'Neill is dead. You know what I'm saying? tried to kill 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 some of the dudes i was you know kind of anxious there for a while because i thought somebody major was going to die during that explosion and i was waiting to make sure everybody was okay you know what i'm saying i was looking around i was like yo did did bobby go down who went down i know somebody's gonna die in that scene um and it ends up being the guy that um chibs mentored into the club um before he left okay he, well he never he never really men mentored him into the club because he left when he was like really young so i don't think he was in the club yet but he died that was tragic jimmy got away so the army is gonna deal with it because now they have evidence against him so they can take him out you know what i mean so it's just little things like that that just makes you appreciate the show so much but now Jax has he has to make this decision now based on what priest told him and i'm like dude no Jax, you get your son and you go home homie that's what you do you get your son and you go home you don't let people decide what you should do with you, with your family what he said was very true you don't want you wouldn't want that for your son you know what i'm saying he said he couldn't do it for the son so he thinks he could do it. but you don't make that decision for him though you get what i'm saying you don't do that why didn't you just tell him why didn't you just say to Jax, hey um i'm gonna be real with you i made your dad a promise you know what i'm saying and i couldn't do it for you but i could do it for your grandson so you know what i'm saying you know you see all this vo this violence all of this stuff that that is caused by the club by being with the club and all of this other stuff you know what we could raise your son here you get what i'm saying we could raise your son here you could visit whenever you want to and all that stuff and we'll keep him away from all that stuff but the, the thing about it with all of that is like and that's that's just me reasoning with the situation because that would me as a father would never do that i'm not going to leave my son there you get what i'm saying but it would be more reasonable if he did that you get what i'm trying to say at least at that point jacks would have probably considered it in a moment and be like you know what maybe you're right but at the same time i still want my son with me i'm gonna try to keep him away from this stuff as soon as because jacks he's got to remember that he's kind of in the middle of trying to change the club for the better you know but it's like as i said it's this it's this push and pull situation that's going on with him and how he feels about things are going the things about the club and all this other stuff and just situations just keep happening pulling pulling in him in the um the other direction you know what i mean so no i don't want Jax to leave his son there i don't i don't want him to leave his son there because i think after this ordeal Tara is probably going to end up doing the abortion or losing the, the, the kid because she got looked like she got kicked in the stomach. I mean, <sighs> this show is very stressful to watch because there's so many things that happen in this that is very relatable. I mean, I don't get as emotional over this show as, as I get over um, The Last Kingdom but at the same time it just irks me so much 
to see somebody who's trying to build something better for himself and it's just like everything just keeps pulling him in the other direction and this happened most criminals in life that you see commit crimes this is the kind of shit they go through they go through this is these are the kind of decisions they have to make these are the kind of things that they have to go through i don't know how they do it mind you it doesn't excuse the actions as i said it doesn't excuse the stuff that Jax does you know what i'm saying a lot of people in that kind of life they don't want that life they don't want it, but it's just because of situation and circumstances just keep pulling them towards that kind of life, man. And it just is sad to see. It is sad to see. Now, Gemma, everybody in this in the, in the series are trash parents. Who is a good parent in the show? Name them. I'll wait. Ain't none of them good parents. Bobby is terrible father from the situations that he describes the, the, i mean all of them i mean at least Jax is trying to be a better father than most john teller was a trash ass parent too you know what i'm saying Gemma, she's not great she's not a great parent either you get what i'm saying um and I'm not saying this in the context of, oh, they should always do everything right. No, they make mistakes based on decisions that decisions that they've made for themselves and the stuff that they do is what caused me to say from whether it be past actions or present actions that they do name one good parent in the show other than maybe um chib's wife who else chib's wife is probably the best example of a good parent in the show you get what i'm saying because she was basically forced in a situation that she didn't want to be in right and still she still was able to raise her daughter it um to look like you know we don't get them on screen very often but i could tell that she was you know what i'm saying she's a level-headed parent Gemma just does whatever the hell she want. The other one, Trinity's mom, she's trash too. She should have never lied to her kid about it. Oh, you don't have it. What happens? What happens when you have to reveal this stuff to their kid? She almost slept with her brother. If they didn't, if they, suppose they had decided to go somewhere else and have sex. It would have happened. Trash ass parents, man. Talk to your children. Talk to your children, man. They can handle it. Talk to them. Stop keeping secrets from your kids. I just don't understand why is it that people do this? Why do people do this? Why do you keep things from, from, from your kids that could affect them in the long run? Why? Because you feel like, oh, they're too young. They won't understand. No, until they get it. When kids are old enough to get it, don't lie to them. And when they come to an age where they can understand stuff, you sit them down and you talk to them. You tell them. You tell them, man. Stop hiding stuff from kids, man. They have to know these things. This is the kind of stuff that mess with people when they get when they get older. I've had friends. I've had friends that have slept with siblings, man, that they didn't know. They didn't know it was their siblings. Stop hiding shit from your kids, man. Jeez. Trash ass parents, man. Oh my God. Oh my God, man. Whew. That shit gets me heated. Anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, man, I appreciate y'all. I will catch you guys later. Don't forget to leave a like. Don't, don't forget to leave a comment. And I will catch you guys next time for some more Sons of Anarchy, man. Peace.